Welcome to Electron Online, and here's our next example of how to use partial fractions to help us with our integration. Here's an integral right there. Uh, notice that the, um, the order of the numerator is the same as the order of the denominator. They're both x squared, which would imply that we want, first want to do long division first. Let's divide the denominator into the numerator to come up with something that's a little bit easier to integrate. So the numerator is 3x squared plus 0x minus 10. We have to put the missing term in there to make it easier to do the division. Divided by x squared minus 4x plus 4. All right, so x squared goes into 3x squared 3 times. 3 times x squared is 3x squared. 3 times minus 4 is minus 12x. 3 times plus 4 is plus 12. Then we subtract the second row from the first row. And here we get 0. There we get a plus 12x. And this minus makes us a minus. That means a minus 22. All right. So now that means we can rewrite this integral as the sum of two integrals. The first integral will be 3 times dx plus the second integral, which is the remainder, 12x minus 22, divided by the denominator x squared minus 4x plus 4 times dx. All right, now this looks a little bit more typical. What we want to do now is go ahead and use partial fractions to make this into a simple form that we can integrate. And of course, what we want to do is we want to rewrite this um, uh, integrand as 12x minus 22 divided by x minus 2 quantity squared. Like that. And that means that we can write this as a over x minus 2 plus b over x minus 2 quantity squared. All right, so that's because we're repeating a linear factor. That means we write a over the first factor plus b over the first factor squared. And that's the only one there. So now we have to find out what a and b are equal to. To do that, we're going to multiply both the numerator and the denominator by what we need to in order to get the same denominator. Notice we don't have to do it for here because this already has the same denominator as that. Only this needs to be multiplied. So that means that this is going to be equal to a divided by x minus 2. And using a different color, let me find my other pen. Oh, my other pen is missing. Ah, there it is. Um, so we have to multiply this times x minus 2 times x x minus 2. That looks a little more like a cross. There we go. And on the second is the same, plus b over x minus 2 quantity squared. There we go. And of course, that is equal to 12x minus 22 divided by x minus 2 quantity squared, which means we could put the right side all over the same denominator. So this is equal to ax minus 2a plus b all divided by x minus 2 quantity squared, and that then equals 12x minus 22 divided by x minus 2 quantity squared. So now you can see that these two fractions have the same denominator. That means that the numerators must be equal as well. We have a 12x here, and we have an ax there. That means a must equal 12. And we have a minus 22, which must equal minus 2a plus b. So minus 2a plus b must equal minus 22. If we now plug in the value 12 for a in here, we have minus 2 times 12 plus b equals minus 22. That means minus 24 plus b equals 22. That means b is equal to 22 plus 24 because when we move the minus 24 over, oh, this is a minus 22. I can't forget the minus in front of the 22. So that's b is equal to minus 22 plus 24 or b is equal to 2. So b is equal to 2 and a is equal to 12. So I found my two constants, a and b, in order to write this fraction like the sum of two partial fractions. All right, so now let's plug that in here. So this is equal to the integral of 3 dx plus the integral of a over x minus 2. And since a is 12, we get 12 over x minus 2 dx. And then plus b is 2, so it's b over x minus 2 quantity squared. So the integral of 2 divided by uh, x minus 2 quantity squared dx. 
All right, now I think we end up with three integrals we can integrate. We can integrate this one, we can integrate this one, and yes, indeed, we can integrate this one. This can be written as 2 times x minus 2 to the minus 2 power. So let's do that. So let's integrate this one. So this is going to be equal to 3x uh, plus 12 times the natural log of x minus 2 plus, let's write this one as 2 times the integral of x minus 2 to the second power Oh, negative 2 power dx. And of course, the integral there would be x minus 2 to the add 1 to the exponent divided by the new exponent. So this is equal to 3x plus 12 times the natural log of x minus 2. And that would then be minus 2. Uh, oop, might as well write it like this. Uh, minus 2 over x minus 1 to the first power plus a constant of integration. And at this point, I think we're done. So now we have everything integrated. So this can be integrated like that. Remember, two things we had to do. First, we had to divide the numerator by the denominator to write it as, um, let me just write it over here. So we have 3x squared minus 10 over x squared minus 4x plus 4. And we divided this one to that. We ended up with 3 plus the remainder, which is 12x minus 22 over the denominator x squared minus 4x plus 4. So then we integrated this instead. That's what we had over here. This is easy to integrate, but here we have to use partial fractions. So we found the two partial fractions. We have to find a and b. a and b right here. When we found a and b, we could actually also integrate the other two. And that's how we do that.